How's it going? So this is not really a tutorial. It's more showing off the GDXR weapons update that I've been basically working on at the minute. Um, kind of show off what's going to be coming soon. So if you haven't seen the live streams, I've been working on a new way of just handling weapon interactions, especially since we're not using physics for these interactions. It's been a little bit of a like complex challenge. But what I managed to do is get it so that we can actually swap guns between hands if we want to. And also we can grab and we can use the sliders, same as what we could do before. But the difference is now I can actually let go with the front hand and then I can keep a hold of it. So then when I can grab it, we actually go back to it and then we can kind of switch around. So you can see how we can do that with the shotguns. We can rack it and then we can kind of go through and then we can change it up that way, which is super sweet, especially for the shotgun. And then we can kind of go through, drop that. And it also works for the rifles now. So I've got it so we can actually switch hands with the rifles. And then we can actually rack it back and we can hold it. And then we can hold it from different places while we actually use the guns. So I've been working on this. There's a couple of little bugs that I've got to sort out before I push the update. But um, yeah, I kind of wanted to show you guys what I've been working on and how you can actually use this to make your games just a little bit nicer and work a little bit better. So we can actually do it that way. I need to do like a two-handed grabbing on this, I think. So we stop that happening, which is not great, is it? Show it off, but we can actually do it. And then we can actually go around and shoot things in the sea. Um, teleport through the window. I've also set up a crouching system. So we can actually now crouch in the game. So we can walk around, we can crouch, go in the tunnels, all big and scary. And then we can go through and then see what's going on. The materials are set to unlit, so they're going to show up. And then we can go and go through, do a bunch of fun, cool different things. So I just want to show this off because it's been a lot of work and it's taken forever to do. feels like it anyway. It's taken about uh, 20, 25 dev hours, roughly, give or take. So I just want to show that off and show how the, the upgrade system is coming along and how we can use these for quest games, specifically mobile VR, so it's better on performance. And all the information calculated is only when you're holding the guns and all that kind of stuff. So I'll probably do another video where I kind of cover what's going on and how it all works but for now i just kind of wanted to show that off kind of get a little bit of motivation back on the project to be able to keep going on it and i thought you guys would like to see it so yeah all right i'll see you all next time and i'll leave you to it bye